Hey, I'm Alonzo and my YouTube channel name is Alonzo and I talk about dumbest fails on the internet. Being from a small city, I didn't think I could make a living off of YouTube. No one heard of Goldsboro. I was working on YouTube during my stint at the bakery. I didn't have a nine to five, I had a nine to nine job. YouTube was an outlet for me. It was to escape my problems. I was getting vibes, so I knew it was coming. I just didn't know when. And when I got fired from it, I shook their hands. I said, well, thank you for the opportunity. But the one door closed, another window opens, and I left it at that. I made an oath to myself late 2013. I said, when 2014 comes along, I'm going to my classes and I'm going to upload at least one video a week. While people are at the beach during the summers, I was working in the books and doing YouTube. By the end of November of 2014, I realized, oh my gosh, I've been doing it. If I ever win an award, I would totally give my boss a shout out, saying thank you for firing me. You gave me more time to do what I love to do. I am able to make a living. I even bought a house, I paid my car off, I paid my school loans off. It's about saving and being consistent. I don't wanna to get to that moment where YouTube feels like work. I'm not uploading three videos in one week. I don't take a six month break. I'm really consistent. My advice is don't get discouraged because of low views. Don't delete your videos. When I first started out, I was in competition. When I stopped concentrating on the numbers and started focusing on my own content, that's when the numbers came in. I just hit a million subscribers. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now with my channel. 